Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to explain you about Laravel factories and Cedar. So what is Laravel factories? You know, in many applications, we need a lot of data in the database just to test if the functionality is working or not, or to just to test like how our application we have if we have thousands of data in our database. So it is really hard to input all the data in the database manually. So today I'm going to explain about this beautiful feature of Laravel called factory. By using the factory, we can insert n number of data in database by just simple command. So without any wasting time, let's get into the code. So factories basically come un comes under this database folder. So to generate any factory, we have to run a command php artisan make factory name of factory. For example, I'm taking user factory as of now and then pass the model name which is associated with this factory. So I'll pass user user model is associated with user factory it as it will create a user factory if you see this user factory class extends the factory and if you notice this model it is associated with model class so in the definition what it contains it contains the default value for each column in our database so if you see in our database migration users table has this name email email verified at password and remember token so we have to give a value for all these fields so let's pick the first one which is name in factory we use php library faker which generally gives you the fake data about name email and all those things if we just need to simply do this pointing to faker pointing to name so it will generate a name and next we have to give a value to email so what we'll do we'll use same faker but as we want a unique email so we, we can pass a class unique to this and then we want a safe email so we can pass this safe email and it will bring a safe email and a unique email every time so let's pass the email verified at email verified at what we can pass here we can pass the current time here as of now and then password password we can pass the hash value by using hash make and password so password will be password for every user and then remember token is there remember token for remember token we are just passing the random string so I'll use this string helper of Laravel and pass a random key of 10 that's it I think we are set with all the fields so let's check email name email email verified password and remember token so we have given the value so we need to import this class so it will simply use this string we have to use this string class uh, here so that we can use this string helper all right it's all set so our definition for user factory user model factory is set next what we need to do we have to seed the data so for seeding a data we need to create a seeder for data seeder so command to create a seed is php artisan make seed 
name of the cedar user table cedar it will generate a seed for user table let's create it as you see in cedars we have user table cedar in the run command what we can do we can use this uh, user factory user factory and pass the number of data which we want to see it. for example I'll pass this uh, 50 data and then create so this what what this will do this will add a 50 users fake data in a database so in order to use user I just need to you import this user model here all set so we are good with user table seeder so what next to test this user table seeder we we need to run a command which is php artisan db seed and then pass the class name which is user table seeder let's enter this it will enter the 50 data as you see database seeding completed successfully so let's go into database see earlier we have only two data let me refresh this if you see we have now 50 more data in the database so we successfully generated this 50 more factories data you see if you see we have a name email verified ad password remember token i think we have every data in our database so you you see how easy it is to generate a data 50 data you can pass any number here 1000 5000 50000 any number it will create a, those number of data in the database so in this video we have seen this how we can create a factory factory is associated with the model and definition will use this default value for each columns in the database and we are using the faker library of php to use this faker uh, data i'll attach a link for this faker library as well as the i'll uh, attach the link for laravel factory because we have a lot of other option available in factory which we can use it is a very basic one where we implemented this table seeder and factories i hope this video is informative for you if you have any queries please do comment down more video coming in this channel for laravel for new web technologies so please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching